If you're in the world of instant gratification, forget about entrepreneurship. Because what comes quick leaves quicker. Entrepreneurship and hustling is about a slow, but a for show. That's what you want. Don't let these boys fool you and make you think that something just happens that quick. You got to understand, there's no magic to this. There's no secret sauce, no secret formula. Hard work pays off. What's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another lit video. So I basically woke up. I'm not even gonna lie. I woke up like a couple hours ago, but I just been laying on my bed on my phone. I literally just dropped the video actually. So that's what I was doing. I was finishing up a video and promoting it on my social medias. And excuse my voice. It sounds a little congested. Congested. <clears throat> But um, I do have an appointment at the Secretary... No, is it the Secretary of State? No, the DMV. Secretary of State or DMV, one of those. <laughs> but um, I have to switch my address for my driver's license to my new address. And then I have to take it to my son's school. Because Loki, they've been waiting on that for like months. I've just been like procrastinating. But I gotta get it done today. And then I also made an appointment to see my chiropractor because he's been super busy and I just got like I mentioned in my previous video I just got done with the flu so yeah but um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face I got my little you know headband and my what are these called on wristbands so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face put some makeup on change and then we're gonna get going so you guys are gonna tag along with me so let's get it Okay, guys, so I am quickly going to straighten my hair. Literally, it takes me like less than five minutes to straighten my hair because of how bald I am. Like, I don't even have to do like this because my hair is so freaking thin. But you know what? We're going to do a little quick, uh, a little quick session real quick, real quick, real quick. But... Yeah, somebody asked me what straightener I use. And girl, I use this one right here. It is by Chi. Chai Chi. Um, it is in the Barbie collection. This actually dropped like a couple years ago. Um, and I found it at Marshall's for only $60, bitch. $60. I got it last year. And I seen it. And I was like, oh my god, this is so pretty. Ooh, girl. Ooh! And it heats up to $450. To literally 450 that's what i have it on right now and um it gets super hot super quick um i try to find it online because a lot of people were asking me like about it on tiktok and this was the only one at marshall's and it was 60 dollars, like i said but since everybody was asking i googled it for myself and they sell it on the cheap website but it's 120 dollars. you guys you see how i only ran it once and look at how freaking straight it is already. Like, isn't that crazy? But yeah, I'm gonna quickly try to hurry up and straighten the rest of my hair. And I'm just gonna throw some clothes on and get my paperwork and get the out of here because, girl, these freaking places do not play. And if you're late, then you're fucked. And I've been dealing with this for too long. I need it settled like today. So. Oh, I just finished getting ready. Something really simple. Straighten my hair. I feel like it grew a little bit longer, but I'll let y'all decide on that. It is 12.38, so we gotta get going soon. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my shoes. And I wanna get new Uggs. Like, I love these freaking Uggs. They're like lavender, but I cannot... Because they're like all busted now, like all like dirty. And how are they supposed to look cute with these cute little little socks you know but um yeah i'll probably end up getting some new ones either today or tomorrow but i'm just like girl they're gonna get dirty again anyways but i'm like oh, girl i cannot be seen like that i cannot 
but I need to hurry the fuck up because this is like 25 minutes away and I have to be there at 110 and I have to be 10 minutes early so technically I only have 20 minutes and I still have to start my car hopefully I don't need gas I still have to fucking put this jacket on um look for my other freaking paperwork and you know what i forgot all my deodorants inside my duffel bag because i always freaking pack my new one i buy a new one because of this reason and then i still end up fucking packing it in my duffel bag like how cliche of me but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get going so let's get it hopefully we're not late okay guys so i just left well i'm still at the dmv actually tell me i just left um i just did my whole driver's license id situation i updated my address that's literally just all i needed to do so it was it only took like five minutes to be honest and he said some all right that's gonna be five dollars i'm like five dollars like five dollars he's like yeah i'm like i thought it was 35 i'm over here trying to upcharge myself but he's like no since it's just like changing your address you know so i was literally in and out which is so freaking good i was literally only there for five minutes it's 1 15. my appointment was at 1 10. but the mall is literally like one block away the mall i usually go to so i'm like should i just stop by the mall since i have some time to kill before my chiropractor appointment but i'm like i don't know because if i go to the mall i'm gonna end up doing some fucking damage and I cannot do some fucking damage right now like no ma'am so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get some Starbies excuse me I haven't ate all day um, like literally nothing and I was gonna grab like a snack before I like left but I didn't want to be late so yeah I'm for sure gonna go get some Starbies because I need I need my coffee right now let's go okay guys so we made it to the chiropractor it is 210 my tummy is kind of hurting because i don't know if i'm lactose intolerant or it's just coffee period every time i drink coffee my tummy starts hurting but i always get almond milk um i ended up getting starbucks and it is a hot white mocha latte so fire but yeah my tummy hurts and he bought a crack my back and my neck and i'm gonna just be a pain like oh my god but loki there's a couple cars here so hopefully it's not like busy busy because i had to pick up my son at 3 15 it's not too far from here but like still you know um i mentioned that at my son's school the parents literally literally be so thirsty to park inside the school parking lot and i always have to like park a block down and walk my ass but it's all good it's all good but yeah, let's get this body cracking. Guys, literally, I feel so much fucking better. It's insane. Like, I literally feel so much freaking better. As soon as he... Look, my hair's all messed up now. As soon as he, like, did the first crack, which the first crack I didn't get on camera, and that's when I popped out my camera. I'm like, oh my god, hold on. Can I get, like, the next part on camera? Because me and him, every time I come here, he does, like, social media also to, like, promote. And yeah like i just feel so much better like i feel like my neck can like go like this now and stuff and honestly you know what fucks me up you guys know the move that i do when i'm like laying on my back and i lift my butt and my legs off the ground and they're up in the sky i always do that at work it for every stage that i do it when i'm practicing i do it when i'm bored at home you know so that really fucks me up so that fucking sucks now i don't gotta worry about that so cheers okay guys so today is actually the next day i think i'm gonna stay home today i'm not gonna go to work one because it's a thunderstorm coming and two because i literally just got done with the flu 
literally like yesterday so i don't even want to risk it but um yes so like i mentioned i in my other video i did end up going to get a new mattress yes ma'am so i ended up giving a little recap i ended up giving my full mattress bed to my son we moved it in his room so that's his because he moves around a lot at night so then i ordered a new one like the other day and it got here today but tell me why you guys oh my gosh let me put you guys on the tripod okay and i just cleaned my room so okay so yeah it was i'm gonna show you guys right now how my bed looks but i was so shook when they brought the bed and i'm like what is this <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Last time I ordered a mattress from there, it came with the mattress, the box bringing, like, the stand to, like, for the bed not to be on the ground, you know? So, yeah, they brought the mattress and the bed spring sold out by fucking mattresses on the floor. But whatever, I mean, I'm gonna end up getting, like, a bed frame or something um, later on. But, yeah, so then I ended up calling the place and I'm just like, hey you know like they just brought basically long story short i just said hey basically they just brought like this and this and then the guy instantly caught an attitude like i was like the fuck he was like well it was her fault and your fault because you didn't say anything i'm like right but i didn't know it though if she would have told me that it didn't come with it then i would have bought it you know it wasn't even mentioned to me like for me it's like if you're a salesperson, you're selling something and I, I would be, I would assume that matches firm um, associates go based off commission as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. But if they do go off commission or just being a good salesperson, you know, I would have mentioned like, hey, it doesn't come with this, but you can buy it at for like this much more. That's no problem. I would have instantly caught it, but they didn't say that or anything, but whatever. Um, he basically said it was my fault too. He was like, "Both party, it's both parties' fault." I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but it's all good, cause even when I bought my full matches, they didn't even say that. They just ended up giving it to me. You know, it wasn't even like brought up. It just came all together. So I would be assuming that it would come with it, but I guess not. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys my bed, and I just cleaned my whole room. So I just cleaned it up a little bit, and. Excuse my mattress being on the floor, you guys. I'm gonna end up going to like probably Ashley's furniture and just getting a freaking one of those whole bed frames or whatever. So this is my room, you guys. I ended up putting this couch in here. This came with what well, didn't come with it was an extra thousand dollars. But this is my sofa couch. It matches the one the couch is in my living room, my desk where I get all sexy and stuff during the weekend yes ma'am this is where the magic happens and this is my tiny ass freaking bed which i wanted this bed but it's like girl it looks so freaking like what oh my gosh whatever it's okay my cute little brat dolls or whatever yes ma'am i feel like a whole ass little girl this reminds me when i was like little <laughs> and like my brat dolls and my fucking care bears and shit. Oh my god. We in this bitch. My back guys what's up what's poppin so today is actually the next day um today is saturday so i guess this is like a weekly vlog you can say um i literally just came back from the hospital like 20 minutes ago i jumped in the shower and now we're here um, my sister was in labor so that's why i was there i was there overnight and i slept on a hard ass couch so my back hurts but it's okay um it is 702. I literally got out the shower. I'm gonna start getting ready for work and hopefully it's a good ass night. You know, I ain't been there in like two weeks. So get ready for me, bitches. <laughs> no, but literally I have to hurry the fuck up and get ready. 
and it's supposed to be it's supposed to hit the negatives today in chicago like negative two negative five negative seven i'm like so hopefully that does not ruin business you guys i want it to be fucking busy as hell because i'm ready to hustle my ass off tonight okay um but yeah i will update you guys once i'm done getting ready okay guys so i am officially done getting ready for work this is the look something super basic and i straightened my hair i have my extensions in i am officially ready to fuck up some commas but yeah do you guys think i look better with curly or straight hair and you know what i also haven't done in a minute um crimp my hair i have not crimped my hair in such a long time and i remember i used to be addicted to crimping my hair but yes bitch but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pack my bag and while well, i was watching a podcast right now so i'll probably finish my podcast and then pack my bag wish me luck you guys and if you're a dancer i wish nothing but the best for you guys as well um today's saturday so it's stacks on stacks saturday so you guys already know like i always say it only takes one customer you guys it literally only takes let me fucking scoot a little back it literally only takes one customer to make a bag so just go to up to everybody just try to find that one customer and you know if they say no just you know after like working some magic after a while then all right whatever but make sure you spin the block one more time okay it is 8 14 so let's say a little prayer you guys um <sighs> all right well today's stacks on stacks saturday so we're gonna go ahead and hustle it out grind throughout the whole night we're gonna end up closing the club so you have enough time to run up a bag or two um although it is winter you know maybe if your energy is good it's high you can always attract like a good customer um i hope that it all turns out good i hope i attract the right people and all we can do is hustle grind don't give a fuck about what anybody says or thinks about you that does include the girls at the club as well because you will get some haters you will get some haters once they see you running up a bag like not all of the girls you know i get along with like a lot of girls in my club but sometimes you will come across some haters you know that just genuinely do not like you for no reason and it's just crazy but at the end of the day you get haters when you're doing something right so just think about it like that um i wish you guys a good ass night only by the end of this video will we know how much i make it's crazy that you literally don't know how much you're gonna make until like the next day you know but hopefully future jenny future jennifer it's gonna be a good night bitch just But okay guys. Let's get it. I'll um update you guys once we're at the club. Literally my fucking eyelashes fell off. Well, it looked all bogus and then I kind of ripped it off. But. Clutch. <laughs> How do you know that's my penny though? I don't know. What the hell? Alright, right, I'm gonna cover my head. Yeah, I look dirty. <laughs> I look fucking dirty, bitch. Like, okay, you better not. I knew it was over with when my fucking lashes fell off, bitch. Or when I ripped them. I don't know. But. It was shy. 
Okay, you guys, so I just got back from work like an hour ago. Um, it was so freaking dead, so freaking dead. Like, we did have a, cu a couple of customers, but they were not quality customers. So, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Like, it was just such a bad night, you guys. But, I mean, it is slow season, so I didn't really expect much, you know. But, yeah, it was just not a good night at all. But it's okay because I don't regret going because, you know, if I wouldn't have gone, I wouldn't have known. I mean, I could have asked girls, but, like, you know what I mean? You never know until you go, so, and until the whole night is over. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to go ahead and um, notify you guys that it was a joke, a shit show but it's all good um back at it again next weekend bitch but yeah i feel like i'm getting sick again oh my god it's so freaking cold it's below temperature right now and driving back home was so 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 dangerous you guys oh and going to work bitch my car swerved like i was on the e-way and i was like on the fast lane but i wasn't really going fast and it swerved all the way to the left i mean i'm sorry i was yeah i was at the left lane it swerved all the way to the right lane and then it swerved all the way back to the left lane bitch i was like oh my gosh like i wasn't really panicking but it was insane how bad it swerved and i'm so i'm just so glad that there was no cars in front of me or no cars behind me any close cars because that would have been so freaking bad but yeah it's dangerous out here it's dangerous so you guys stay warm stay safe and stay fucking healthy bitch but yeah that's pretty much all for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and if so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and definitely drop down below what type of videos you guys want to see next. But love you guys. Bye.